Have you ever felt like everything was against you? Have you wished for God to step in and protect you from harm? Today, I'll discuss the powerful message in Psalm 35, where David calls out for God's protection and justice. This Psalm will boost your faith and provide comfort during tough times. If you believe in God's power to change your life, let's stand together in faith. I'll pray earnestly with you in Jesus' name. So stay until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Picture yourself as a skilled chef preparing a grand feast for an important event. Just as you're about to serve your masterpiece, you find all your carefully prepared dishes replaced with empty plates. Your hard work has disappeared, leaving you exposed and vulnerable before the waiting guests. This sudden feeling of defenselessness and distress is what David expresses in Psalm 35. In verse 1, David cries out, Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Let's explore three key perspectives on this psalm. Number one, God as our defender. In times of trouble, we often feel alone and overwhelmed. But Psalm 35 reminds us that we have a powerful defender, God himself. David, surrounded by enemies, turns to the Lord as his ultimate protector. He doesn't depend on his own strength or cleverness, but on God's mighty hand. In verse 2, David says, Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. This image of God as a warrior ready to defend us is both comforting and empowering. It reminds us that we are never alone in our struggles. When we face challenges from people or situations, we can call on God. He is our shield, protector, and advocate. Think about Hezekiah when confronted with the Assyrian army. Instead of panicking, he presented the threatening letter to the Lord and prayed. God responded by defeating the enemy supernaturally. Similarly, we can bring our troubles to God, trusting him to fight for us. This doesn't mean we do nothing. We still need to act wisely and do our part. But we do so knowing God is on our side, guiding and protecting us. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, God promises, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse echoes the message of Psalm 35. God is not a distant observer, but actively involved in our lives. He strengthens, helps, and upholds us. When we are weak, He is strong. When we are confused, He provides wisdom. When we are attacked, He defends us. Friends, whatever you are facing today, remember that God is your defender. He is not intimidated by your enemies or problems. He is greater than any force against you. Trust in his protection, lean on his strength, and watch as he fights your battles. You are not alone. You are not defenseless. With God as your defender, you can face any challenge with confidence and hope. Number two, the power of righteous prayer. My friends, Psalm 35 is more than a cry for help. It's a powerful prayer. David doesn't just hope for God's intervention. He actively seeks it. This teaches us about the power of sincere prayer in our lives. In verse 13, David says, But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. David's prayer was not just words. It was filled with humility and sincerity. This reminds us that effective prayer comes from a heart aligned with God's will. Consider the story of King Jehoshaphat in the Second Chronicles. Faced with a vast army, he didn't rely on military strategy alone. He called for a fast and led the people in prayer. God responded by defeating the enemy without Jehoshaphat's army, lifting a sword. This shows the power of prayer combined with faith and obedience. In James 5, verse 16 to 18, it says, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. 
And he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and heaven gave rain. The earth produced its fruit. These verses emphasize that our prayers can have a profound impact. Elijah, though human like us, saw extraordinary results through his prayers. This encourages us to pray confidently, knowing God hears and responds. What makes a prayer righteous is not about using the right words or following a specific formula. Righteous prayer comes from a heart seeking God's will above all else. It is humble, sincere, and trusting in God's wisdom and timing. When we pray this way, we open ourselves to God's power and guidance. We may not always see immediate results, but we can trust that God is working. Sometimes the biggest change that occurs through prayer is within our own hearts. As we share our concerns with God, He gives us peace and perspective, aligning our will with His and transforming our desires and attitudes. So my dear friends, don't underestimate the power of your prayers. Whether you're facing challenges, seeking guidance, or praying for others, pray with all your heart. Approach God with honesty, humility, and faith. Your prayers can move mountains, change hearts, and bring God's power into your life and the lives of others. Number three, let's talk about trusting in God's justice. One of the hardest parts of Psalm 35 is David's cry for justice. He asks God to deal with his enemies and clear his name from false accusations. This raises an important question. How do we trust in God's justice when we face unfairness? In verse 24, David says, Vindicate me, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. David's confidence in God's righteousness is the key to his trust. He knows that God sees everything and will judge fairly. This reminds me of the story of Mordecai in the book of Esther. Falsely accused and sentenced to death, Mordecai remained faithful to God. In a dramatic turn of events, God's justice prevailed, and Mordecai was honored while his enemy faced downfall. In Romans 12, verse 19, we are instructed, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. This verse teaches us to resist the urge to seek revenge when wrong. Instead, we should trust God's perfect justice. This doesn't mean we shouldn't seek legal recourse when appropriate, but it does mean we should avoid personal vendettas and trust God with the ultimate outcome. Trusting in God's justice requires patience and faith. We may not see immediate results, but we can be confident that God is at work. He sees every injustice, every false accusation, and every act of oppression. Nothing escapes his notice, and he will make all things right in his perfect timing. Also, trusting in God's justice frees us from bitterness and resentment. When we give our hurts to God, we can find peace even in tough times. We are no longer obsessed with seeking revenge or justice. Instead, we can focus on living rightly and showing God's love to others. Remember, God's justice is not just about punishment. It's also about restoration and redemption. Sometimes God's justice changes the hearts of those who oppose us, like how Saul became Paul. Our enemies might even become allies in God's kingdom. So, my dear friends, when you face injustice, cry out to God like David did. Pour out your heart and express your pain, but ultimately trust in God's perfect justice. Know that He sees, He cares, and He will act. Your deliverance may not come in the way or time you expect, but it will come. Until then, continue to walk in righteousness and extend grace, even to those who wrong you. By doing so, you reflect the character of our just and merciful God. Now, to everyone listening, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Join me in this prayer to receive all the blessings it brings. You may also listen to this prayer daily to build your faith and find agreement. In life, we face many challenges and dangers. 
Sometimes it feels like we're all alone and under attack from every side, but God promises to be our defender and protector. He is our shield in times of trouble, our fortress when we feel vulnerable. The following prayers are designed to help you seek God's protection and defense in various aspects of your life. Pray these with a sincere heart and trust that God hears you and will act on your behalf. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Creator of the heavens and the earth, I come before your throne of grace with reverence and thanksgiving. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Your power is beyond measure and your wisdom and love are boundless. You are majestic in all the earth. Your righteousness shines brightly and your mercy endures forever. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of a new day. As I step out into the world, I ask for your protection. Guard me against any harm that may come my way. Surround me with your angels and let no evil come near me. In your name, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Fill my heart with your peace and confidence, knowing that you are my shield and my strong tower. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Dear Lord, I lift up my family to you today. Please protect them from all harm and danger. Surround them with your angels and keep them safe from every attack of the enemy. Cover them with your wings and be their refuge. Guide their steps and keep them from falling. Help us to trust in your protection and to lean on you in times of trouble. Thank you for being our defender and for loving us so deeply. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord Jesus, I come to you seeking your defense against those who mean to harm me. You know every heart and every intention. I ask that you stand up for me and fight on my behalf. Protect me from those who seek to bring me down and cause me pain. Confound their plans and let their schemes come to nothing. Help me to remain strong and to trust in your mighty power. Thank you for being my advocate and for defending me in times of trouble. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I feel overwhelmed by the challenges before me. I ask for your strength and courage to face them. Remind me that you are my defender and that I have nothing to fear. Fill my heart with your peace and help me to stand firm in faith. Give me the strength to overcome every obstacle and the courage to face every enemy. Thank you for being with me and for being with me and for being my shield in times of trouble. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear God, I pray for your protection over my workplace. Guard me against any harm or danger that may come my way. Help me to work diligently and to trust in your protection. Keep me safe from any accidents or threats. Let your presence be felt in my workplace and let your peace reign in my heart. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over me. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, my mind is troubled and my heart is anxious. I need your peace. Protect my mind from fear and worry. Help me to focus on your promises and to trust in your protection. Fill my heart with your peace and help me to rest and help me to rest in your love. Thank you for being my defender and for giving me peace of mind. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I lift up my children to you. Please protect them from all harm and danger. Surround them with your angels and keep them safe. Guide their steps and watch over them as they go about their day. Help them to grow in your love and to trust in your protection. Thank you for being their defender and for loving them so deeply. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Lord, as I prepare to travel, I ask for your protection. Keep me safe on the roads, in the air, or on the water. Surround me with your angels and let no harm come near me. Guide my journey and bring me safely to my destination. Help me to trust in your protection and to rest in your peace. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, 
I face many temptations that seek to lead me astray. I ask for your protection against these temptations. Help me to stand firm in my faith and to resist the lures of sin. Fill my heart with your strength and help me to stay true to your path. Protect me from the enemy's schemes and keep me safe in your love. Thank you for being my defender and for helping me to overcome temptation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Lord, my heart is vulnerable and easily hurt. I ask for your protection over my heart. Guard it against pain, bitterness, and resentment. Fill my heart with your love and help me to forgive those who have wronged me. Protect my heart from the enemy's attacks and help me to remain strong in your love. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear God, I pray for your protection over my home. Let it be a place of safety and peace. Guard it against any harm or danger. Surround my home with your angels and keep us safe from any attacks. Fill our hearts with your peace and help us to trust in your protection. Thank you for being our defender and for watching over our home. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I ask for your protection over my relationships. Guard them against any harm or division. Help us to love and support each other in times of trouble. Protect us from misunderstandings and conflicts. Fill our hearts with your love and help us to remain strong in our relationships. Thank you for being our defender and for watching over our bonds with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord Jesus, I come to you asking for protection from evil. Keep me safe from any harm that may come my way. Surround me with your angels and guard me against the enemy's attacks. Help me to trust in your protection and to rest in your protection and to rest in your peace. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over me. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Dear God, I pray for your protection over my health. Guard me against any sickness or disease. Keep my body strong and healthy. Fill me with your healing power and help me to trust in your protection. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over my health. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I ask for your protection over my finances. Guard me against any loss or theft. Help me to manage my resources wisely and to trust in your provision. Protect me from financial harm and guide me in making sound decisions. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over my finances. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, my faith is sometimes weak and shaken. I ask for your protection over my faith. Help me to stay strong in my beliefs and to trust in your promises. Guard my faith against doubt and fear. Fill me with your strength and help me to stand firm in my faith. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over my faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear God, I pray for your protection over my future. Guide my steps and help me to follow your path. Guard me against any harm or danger that may come my way. Help me to trust in your plans for my life and to rest in your peace. Thank you for being my defender and for watching over my future. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for hearing our prayers. We trust in your protection and defense in every area of our lives. Help us to walk in faith knowing that you are always with us. Fill our hearts with your peace and let us rest in your love. Thank you for being our defender and for watching over us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I thank you, Father, for your constant presence in my life, even when I feel alone. I am grateful for your daily blessings, protection, guidance, and unwavering love. Thank you for being my defender, my shield, and my strength in times of trouble. Lord, I confess my sins to you, knowing you are faithful and just to forgive. As I seek your forgiveness, I ask for your mercy and grace to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, letting go of any bitterness or resentment. Father, 
Like David in Psalm 35, I cry out to you as my defender. Stand up for me, Lord, against those who seek to harm me. Fight against those who fight against those who fight against me, for you are my salvation. I declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement. I bind the powers of darkness that seek to overwhelm me. Lord, be my advocate in every situation where I face opposition or injustice. Vindicate me according to your righteousness and let not my enemies rejoice over me. Mighty God, grant me victory over my enemies and help me overcome every obstacle in my way. Give me the strength to trust in your perfect timing and flawless judgment. Teach me to pray with passion and faith, knowing the prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. Let my prayers rise before you like incense, pure and pleasing in your sight. Align my heart with your will, so I may pray in accordance with your perfect plan. Father, I ask for your healing touch upon every area of my life, body, mind, and spirit. Restore what the enemy has stolen. Renew my strength and youth like the eagles. Protect me from every attack of the enemy, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. Guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, shielding me from all deception and lies. Lord, I pray for your blessings to overflow in my life and the lives of my loved ones. May your favor surround us like a shield and your peace guard our hearts and minds. Prosper the work of our hands and establish the plans you have for us. As I pray with everyone listening, I'm grateful for every heart opening before you now. We come together, Father, praying for each other and standing united in faith. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. We claim victory over every challenge, sickness, and attack of the enemy. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, empowering us to be bold witnesses for your kingdom. Grant us discernment to recognize your voice and the courage to follow your leading. Protect us from evil and deliver us from evil and deliver us from every snare of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are delivered from every enemy and force that seeks to harm us. May your justice prevail in our lives and in our world, bringing light to darkness and hope to despair. Sovereign Lord, teach us to trust in your unfailing love, even when we don't understand your ways. Let our lives be a testament to your goodness, drawing others to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We praise your holy name, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If this prayer blessed you, say amen. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. Help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You are blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments so we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Other believers on YouTube and around the world can join us in praying for you. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified. Anytime we post a new video, God bless you. Amen.